Most Worshipful Grand Master, Right Worshipful and Worshipful Grand Lodge officers, past and present, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, my brethren all, good afternoon. I expect that many of you are wondering why we are here today to level this building's cornerstone, or perhaps moreover, what do these ceremonies actually signify? With that in mind, I'd like to take a few minutes to provide some context for this occasion. As previously stated by the Grand Master, one of the ancient customs that Freemasons have long observed is the symbolic leveling of a cornerstone. The cornerstone is as old as Freemasonry itself. It, contact, it, it connects contemporary Masons, like those here today, to the craftsmen and stonemasons who, in the Middle Ages, erected magnificent European cathedrals. Traditionally, the cornerstone is crafted as a simple cubicle or a rectangular polished stone. It is placed in a corner of a building near the foundation, but it is not part of the foundation. The cornerstone is situated high enough to be easily read, and on it the stone may have carved the name of the owner, the purpose of the structure, the dedication date, and at times other data. Such a stone is frequently made hollow, and at the time it is laid, it is filled with various items which the depositors believe will prove interesting when viewed by those who remove the contents at some distant future event. These articles may be coins, books, photos, etc. The tradition of depositing various articles dates back to the time of ancient Mesopotamia. It was then that the three essential working tools of the ancient craftsmen, the square, level, and plum, were discovered at the tomb of Synergem in Dar del El Medina in Egypt. These were among the most ancient tools of operative masons ever found and date to the New Kingdom period between 1570 and 1070 BC. The three essential elements of corn, wine, and oil presented here today have been used in the dedication of buildings since the time of ancient Rome. Corn represents nourishment and plenty, wine represents refreshment, and oil represents joy, peace, healing, and comfort. It is a custom of workers in stone or operative masonry to place the first stone or cornerstone of the building in the northeast corner. To a Freemason, the cornerstone is a symbol of morality. It is positioned between the north, which represents a place of darkness, and the east, which Freemasons consider a place of light. For a Mason, this symbolic, this symbolic path represents man's progress from darkness to light and from ignorance to knowledge. In antiquity, a cornerstone was leveled by the craftsmen with great care. So long as the builders erected the walls in line with the two sides of the cornerstone, the walls would extend outward and remain true and square, however far they may reach. And then with the plumb line, they built the wall above the cornerstone. So long as it remained in line, it also would maintain the building's true and square form. So we now recognize that when properly prepared by the working tools of operative masonry, the cornerstone is perfectly square. When firmly set and leveled, it provides a foundation, a pattern upon which the greatest structures may be erected. As a result, as a result the building rising above the cornerstone may attain great heights and stay true to the plan of the architect. Today, the single cornerstone serves to remind us that if we are to build any lasting structure, whether earthly or spiritual, it must rest upon a firm foundation, one that is true and square. Intrinsically, it is the embodiment of all that is perfect in form, alignment, and character. So too may the influences of our daily lives and actions expand into the world around us, and may that influence obtain great spiritual and intellectual heights as we follow a carefully crafted, venerable line generated by our personal cornerstone well set. To the members and presiding officers of Brady Masonic Lodge number 628, we express our sincere thanks and appreciation for giving us the honor and privilege of leveling this cornerstone on the McCulloch County Library. May this building stand ever tall amongst the citizens of the state May the wisdom, strength, and justice of those who occupy it distinguish this building and this community with paramount integrity, impeccable reputation, and outstanding service. Thank you for your attention, and thank you, Most Worshipful Grand Master.
Thank you, Matt Warsaw Grand and Orchard. Matt Warsaw Grand Chaplain, will you lead us in prayer? Please stand. As we conclude the ceremony, may each of us go forth in our daily lives committed to live in accordance with the principles which we have here expressed. May we be given the wisdom to understand the truth and the courage to translate it into action. May the blessings of heaven reign, remain upon this structure and go with and guide each of us as we depart. Amen. Thank you again for the opportunity to be here. On uh, behalf of the, of the um, North Worcester Grand Lodge of Texas, we thank again the county, the city, the library board for this opportunity to be here and present this, this cornerstone. These proceedings are now closed. Thank you.